The City University 3rd edition test is used to identify if you have a color vision defect as well as grade the severity of your defect. There are three common types of color vision defects which are Duterne, Proton and Triton. The Duterne is known as red-green color blindness and you have a reduced sensitivity to green cones which means you struggle to differentiate between shades of red and green. The Proton is another type of red-green color blindness and you have a reduced sensitivity to red cones which means you also struggle to differentiate between shades of red and green. The Triton is the least common out of the three types of color blindness and you have a reduced sensitivity to blue cones which means you struggle to differentiate between shades of blue and yellow. So the Triton is a type of blue-yellow color vision defect. So the City University test would help to differentiate between Duton, Proton and Triton and there are two parts to the test. Part 1 is a screening test and helps to identify if you have a color blindness or defect while Part 2 is the detection test and helps to identify the severity of your color blindness or defect. And we have a form which is used to mark the correct answers. We usually do both eyes if you have a congenital color vision defect, that means you're born with a defect. And if you have an acquired color vision defect, whether it's through medication, age, medical condition, then we'll test one eye at a time. People with normal color vision should score 9 or 10 out of 10. If you have Proton or Duterne, you should score 4 or 5 out of 10. And if you have Triton, you would usually score 7 out of 10. We would then move to part two of the test, but let's start with part one. Each page would have four vertical rows of colored spots as you can see. You would be asked to identify if all the spots in that row are of the same color or if one spot is different in color. So let's look at page one. You have the top left row, top right row, bottom left row and bottom right row. You have six seconds for each page, so you have to be pretty quick. Starting with the top left row, are all the spots the same or is one spot of a different color from the others. Then we move on to the top right row. Again, are all the spots the same or is one spot of a different color from the others? Then we move to the bottom left row. Are all the spots the same or is one spot of a different color from the others? And lastly, the bottom right row. Are all the spots the same or is one spot of a different color from the others? We do this for all the other pages and then we mark your scores. Okay, now let's look at part one again and see if you got your answers correct. If you had normal color vision, you would have scored 9 or 10 out of 10, including two right answers on the first page. If you scored less than 8 out of 10, then you might have Proton, Duterne or Triton color blindness. So after the scoring is done, we move on to part 2. On each page, you would see four colored spots around a central spot. You have to choose the spot that closely resembles the central spot and you do not touch the page but respond by saying top, bottom, right or left, allowing 3 seconds for each page. The first page is a demonstration page and your answer should be top as you can see that the top spot matches the central spot. So let's look at the rest of the pages and choose a spot that matches or closely resembles the central spot. And once again, we add up all the scores. So now let's look at part two again and see if you got your answers correct. Scoring for part 2 is out of 6, so if you had errors on part 1, but no errors on part 2, then you'll be classed as having a very mild color vision defect. 
But for example, if you had three of six errors, then you have a medium color vision defect. However, depending on your job role or the organization that you work for, some organizations would stipulate that as part of their standards, you cannot have more than two errors on the City University 3rd Edition test. The City University 3rd Edition test is very good at pinpointing Triton deficiencies and differentiating red-green color blindness, but it is rarely used on its own and is used in conjunction with other color vision tests, such as the Isihara test, which doesn't tell you the severity of color blindness, as well as the Fansworth D15 test, which also tells you the type and severity of color blindness. The City University 3rd edition test is actually derived from the Fansworth D15 test and a combination of these tests done together helps to increase the accuracy and interpretation of the severity of the tests. However, if you're worried that you might have a color vision blindness or color vision defect, then you need to see your optometrist or ophthalmologist as even little details such as the lighting of the room can affect your results. Now I hope you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share, like and subscribe.